Hey guys, I'm Justin Davis of Drone Camps RC. We're an official DJI dealer in the US. And today we're gonna to do a quick video on unlocking your Phantom into NASA M mode. Um, some of you have been flying for quite a while in Phantom mode. And so we figured we would show you the way to go into your software on your laptop and open up NASA M mode. NASA M has a lot of useful features. Um, it's going to open up the S2 switch on the left hand side, give you home lock, course lock, as well as an additional option on S1 to add manual and fail safe or ADDIE. So, uh, and also fly in ADDIE mode uh, and a choice of GPS, of course. So, we'll show you how to do that now. So, have a look. Okay guys, here we are on the laptop screen. We're gonna show you how to open up NASA M on your software, but first, before we do that, we want you to remove the props off your copter. Very important that you're inside. Whenever you're inside, you wanna remove your props whenever you're working in the software or doing any firmware updates. So now we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the transmitter. Press once and hold two secs for the battery. start up the Phantom. When we do that, we're going to go ahead and go into the Phantom Assistant software. Okay. Now you can see here, up to the top right, you can see where it says Phantom. And this is really easy to change. It says switch to NASA M as a little pop-up when you hover over top of Phantom. So go ahead and switch Click on that and it's gonna ask you a bunch of questions. Do you really wanna do this? Of course we do. So we'll go ahead and click yes. We want more options. Yes, we really do. Okay, now we're functioning in NASA M. So very important that you had turned on your transmitter first so that we can see what the switches are doing in the software. So not any changes there. Uh, we'll go ahead and go to, and you can see on the main screen where it says IOC here. IOC is what we're gonna activate, and that's your intelligent orientation control. Right now it says off, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the advanced menu to IOC, and we're gonna activate that. Right now it's not activated. It doesn't come activated when you switch on NASA M mode. To do that, just go here, um, click the button, and now you'll be activated for IOC, which will give you two new features on the S2 switch. So if you reach over and you grab your transmitter S2 switch, you flip it to middle, that's gonna give you course lock, and home lock is gonna be on the very bottom, switch position three. So all the way up is off, middle is course lock, and down is home lock. And we have a couple other features on GPS switch as well, which is the S1 switch on the right hand side. And we'll show you those on this screen. So if you go to basic and you click on RC, RC standing for remote control, you go to your S1 switch and now you'll see the very topmost position is gonna be GPS. The middle position is gonna be ADDIE. Now you'll be flying in ADDIE, which means it'll drift left, right, backwards and forwards. It'll maintain its altitude, but it'll drift. The last position down in switch position three, all the way down is gonna be ADDIE. You can click on this little tab to the right and it'll let you change it from manual to fail safe or stay in ADDIE. If you switch into mail, if fail safe, when you switch the switch all the way down to position three, your copter is going to fly to home. We don't really recommend doing that for a switch. Uh, we, we like to use the transmitter off option. However, you can switch to manual. Some people like to go and fly in manual mode. If you do switch to manual mode, make sure that you're ready for it, that you've had previous experience flying a Phantom in manual mode, because what happens when you're in manual mode is that it takes away all the stabilization. So any horizontal stabilization will be gone. So you'll be flying in complete manual mode. So be aware of that. And we'll go back up to 
Addy. We'll leave it in Addy for now. So S1 switch is going to go from Addy, position 2, all the way up in GPS. So when we first turn on the Phantom, make sure that all the switches are up so that your IOC is in the off position. Now home lock only works when you're in GPS mode. You want to make sure that when you try to use home lock or course lock that you are in GPS mode on switch one. That's very important. Otherwise they won't work. So that's about it for the NASA M upgrade on your Phantom. Very simple, very easy to do. Now we see on this screen uh, IOC is showing that it's, it's on and we're, we're ready to go for home lock and course lock. So thanks again for watching. So that's it. That's all there really is to opening up NASA M on your Phantom. Now this works for the Phantom 2 or the Vision Series copters. No difference there to open up NASA M. Uh, one thing we would like to, to remind you is that when you, when you go to switch into these modes, make sure that you, you remember which one is which. If you need to label it on your transmitter somehow, we would definitely suggest doing that so that you don't get confused to which mode you're in while you're flying because uh, some of the transmitters are not labeled. Um, such as the Vision Plus uh, transmitter. So uh, thanks again for watching. Be careful and fly safe. I'm Justin Davis with Drone Camps RC. Please click subscribe. Mm -hmm.